Welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 16 with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Good morning everyone. Just finishing off my breakfast. Unfortunately, it is a miserable day outside. But there's still things we can get on with because our corn and sunflowers have come through overnight so we can put the second stage of fertiliser on them. Um, I'm guessing the chickens probably need another clean up. Yeah, I did clean them before I went to bed last night. And we can finish off... Um, creating that field over there I need to take some more trees down and um, finish plowing it out so there's plenty to be getting on with there always is on our farm and our silage should be we'll just part this up in its usual little spot silage should be 100% fermented so we can get that sold off yep that's good probably sell it at the BGA again I know we'll have to wait till midnight but it gives us our best price yeah that's an awful price at the vehicle shop. Definitely the um, BGA would just have to hold on for it. Yeah, so just over here we need to finish off. Take some more trees down. Finish that field. First of all, we will grab the fence. We're going to have to stick some narrow tyres on it so we can drive through those fields without damaging our crop. And it shouldn't cost us anything because we've done that um, before in the past. Yeah, there you go. It's going to cost us nothing. Right. Fertiliser. Not sure how much we've got already in there left over from last time. Oh, 91%. That should be plenty. Alright, we'll go over to the sunflowers first. We'll get them done and dusted. There's quite a few trees to come down in front on that field, new field, so I'll probably either do a time lapse or I'll um, do that off camera let's just check, we're on full 45 meters, yeah it's going to be more difficult to see where we've been now because the sunflowers are quite tall as you can see as long as we stay reasonably straight and then we can tell from this menu like that so we're getting a good chunk of it done You can 
just about see the darkness there so I'll probably have to do this bit in three strips yeah we're getting that that's good come back for that last bit yeah you can just about see the dark line to the left where we've been I was hoping our wheat was going to be, well, saying that, I was going to say ready to harvest, but we can't harvest it because it's raining. So that's out of the question anyway. Alright, so that should be that one done. Oh no, I've got that little bit left down the bottom there, sorry. Yeah, chickens need a good clean up. They've made a right mess overnight. Just down this bit. Right, now that should be all done. Yeah. Excellent. Then we'll go do the corn. Somewhere about there. Now this is going to be even trickier, this one. I'm going to guess and go about there. That'll do us. Try and stay in a reasonably straight line. It's all good. Missed a little bit at the start there though. I'll have to come back for that. Too far, probably about I'll try that. I think I might be a bit too far over. Yeah, miles over. right on the edge that so Almost done.
Doesn't like that little bit there, does it? I'll try and come back over that way and see if I can get it. Still missed a bit. Alright, let's go and try and get that little spot there. Somewhere about there. I still won't like it, will it? I'm wondering if it's uh no. I don't understand it then. Oh well. That's the majority of it done though. And I've already decided when we get our payout from the silage at the BGA I've already decided what I'm going to invest in next I won't tell you just yet because I want to make sure we definitely make enough money for it which we should do so let's change the wheels back on this Ooh. Wides back on, yes. Sort the chickens out, I think, quick next. They should, um, they should have quite a few eggs around as well. Because there was a few already there when I cleaned them up last night. I'm guessing they should have added quite a few more overnight. Oh yeah. That's almost a full load there. What are we looking at for the prices of eggs then? Oh, rubbish. Pretty sure it was about 3,000 last time we sold them. Cool. I'm not selling them yet. That's terrible. I wonder if it's they're dropping that much because we've sold done a couple of loads. Sometimes you find if you keep selling the same sort of crops or goods prices will go down because of the demand and etc. Well, they can stay there for a minute. Worst comes to worst, I'll fill the trailer up and um, just park it up somewhere. Right, I think we'll go and finish off our um, field. So we need this bad boy. 
for that. Um, what else do we need? We're going to need the stump grinder over there. double check how many it is so it's this big one here these three and then those two so not too bad should get quite a bit of money from this um, big one how big is it because it, I don't want it falling into the territory we don't own because I might not be able to pick it up. We'll go that way with it. So that's all the trees taken care of. Now we just need to finish off doing these little bits. I'm obviously not on allow create fields. Should be now. That's better. corner got this horrible bush there I don't know how far we could get over we could probably 
squeeze a little bit more out of that. Or I might just do a little bit of landscaping actually. Is it going to let us do... Yeah it will. So if I go on grass like that. Just want to get rid of these bushes that are overhanging the field. I probably could have come over with the field actually a little bit but um, I don't want to push it because we're quite near the boundary so that'll do I think Should just be this little bit down here. Like that. I might just square this bit up there as well. That's not as good as I wanted it, but let's see if we can make that a little bit nicer like that. That's better. Right. So we can sell those logs, it's not going to give us a lot, but it'll be a little bit of um, pocket money for us. So I'll probably whiz over, take all this back. I think this subsoiler could do with a good clean and a repair because all the paint's coming off of it. it. Took a bit of a hammering when we subsoiled these two fields before we planted the sunflowers and corn and obviously just creating that field then so we'll give it a bit of TLC I think drop this back in there Probably don't need a wash because it's been out in the rain all night. Look all the paint coming off of it. Let's see what state it's in. Not even in the trigger area. Yeah, probably a little bit too far out. That's not too bad, actually. 20 euros cheap as right I'll um go back over I'll get the pickup 
back and I'll sell those logs and I'll see you in a second when I've done that. Right, so that's all the wood sold off. If we have a look. Bottom right there, we made 2,795, which is pretty good. And just that small amount. I think that was mainly the larger tree, though, that gave us that. So we'll get the miller machine and we'll get this silage um, delivered down to the BGA. And we're going to need our big trailer for this. We had two, 294,015 litres. We should get a good amount for that. So, pipe out. Unfold. Must have already been unfolded. We'll get going. can't wait to see how much we make from this though because I think this is the most we've ever had of silage just shy of 300,000 litres
so we've got a last bit of silage to get rid of gonna have to wait a quite a long time to get the money for it though but it'll be worth it in the end I just want to while I think of it because I've forgotten the last couple of episodes just want to give a big shout out to my new friend farmer cop out in the states I messaged him a little while ago asking for some advice and he responded and gave me some brilliant advice and we've been chatting every now and then ever since and um he's obviously got his own youtube channel as well so he's a fellow youtuber he's a lot more successful than me at the minute so if you haven't checked him out make sure you go and check out his channel and his content because it is brilliant like I say he's called Farmer Cop and he's called that because he is an actual police officer in real life so he's a legend in my eyes putting his neck on the line for the people of the US so a big shout out to him thanks for all your advice buddy I think on that note we're probably going to leave it there for this episode been quite productive again I'm a bit fed up with this rain now and probably the next episode we will get something growing in that new field over there and hopefully the rain would have stopped and we'll be able to harvest some wheat probably that's going to be first and we'll probably have to feed the chickens straight away because they are getting a little bit low and we need to empty those eggs as well at some point so yeah I think we'll call it there for this episode so I hope you've all enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.